Hello friends, in the previous video we discussed about antibiotic resistance, its overview, how it occurs and when it occurs. Now in this video we will be discussing about the mechanism behind it. So let's get started. As we know antibiotic resistance occurs due to overuse of drugs and the final molding for resistance is given by natural selection. As we have already discussed the evolution part of antibiotic resistance in the previous video. So when there is an antibiotic resistance, the bacteria displays random or spontaneous mutation at genomic level and this mutation is always in favor of organism because it makes its survival in unfavorable condition that's when the antibiotic drugs are present so we can say mutation is non-lethal here when we talk about antibiotic resistance we see there is an accumulation of non-lethal mutated genes in bacteria by passing the genes into next generation over a course of time the genes which make it resistant can be plasmid genes or can be chromosomal genes depending upon the mutation. But mostly we see resistant genes are found on plasmids. So in this way we have a resistant bacteria eventually. Now let's see how these resistant genes get transferred to next generation. Bacteria which has got resistant genes transfer these genes to next generation via two methods. First is vertical gene transfer, the other one is horizontal gene transfer. First, let's see what this vertical gene transfer is. In vertical gene transfer, we see it is done by a replication process, that's when bacteria divides into two. But in horizontal gene transfer, we see it has got three types, transduction, conjugation, and transformation. So in all these processes, we see mobile genetic elements are involved, which includes plasmids, bacteriophages, and transposons. Now we will get to the point that is the mechanism behind antibiotic resistance. First of all, we see in the mechanism of antibiotic resistance, the first mechanism is drug inactivation or drug modification. In drug inactivation or modification, the drug is inactivated by some mechanism or it gets modified to a new structure so that it may not be able to work in a way that it has been made to work. First, we see in drug inactivation or modification, the bacterial resistant genes that are present in bacteria, they make an antibiotic counteracting substance. This counteracting substance, which is basically a protein made from resistant genes, are able to shut down the antibiotics or to evade the antibiotics easily by which bacteria remain unaltered or unaffected. Like we have a beta lactamases. So, beta lactamases are produced by bacterial strain that inactivates penicillin G. So, in this way, this is the first mechanism the bacteria is able to switch off the antibiotics. Then we have a second mechanism that's alteration of target or binding site of antibiotics. In this mechanism, the target site of antibiotics is altered so that antibiotics remain without affecting the bacteria. Here in this case, the bacteria is not targeted by antibiotics because these antibiotics remain wondering why to bind and why not to. This condition has been seen in methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. While PBP, that's penicillin binding site, it gets altered and antibiotics are unable to bind to it. And we get the antibiotic resistance in this way. Then we have the last mechanism, which include the active efflux. In active efflux, the toxins, foreign materials, and drugs from bacterial cell are eliminated out of the cell. So when there is presence of antibiotics in environment, the genes which encode the efflux pump proteins are naturally selected over a course of time over other genes because this gives the bacteria an edge and after that there is an overexpression of efflux pump proteins and finally we see when there are more pumps in the cell means there will be more and more efflux of antibiotics and the bacterial cell survives and this also aids for antibiotic resistance for bacteria these all kind of mechanism for antibiotic resistance does not happen in one day but it takes decades or even centuries because evolution is always gradual. So this is all about antibiotic resistance in detail. I hope you like the video. If you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.